It is the first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Who will experience liftoff in the opener? Stay with us, you won't miss a minute of action right here on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Spain versus Germany. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Here's the lineup for Spain. Jordi Alba plays with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Ferran Torres plays with Pablo Sarabia on the flanks. And Morata is the main striker for this match. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer gets the nod in goal. Niklas Zule starts with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Leroy Zane plays with Serge Gnabry on the flanks. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And the game begins. Pablo Sarabia. Well, between 2008 and 2012, Spain were right up there with the very best of international teams. They had their barren spell after that, but you know, Stuart, green shoots of recovery were visible at the last European Championship when they were perhaps unlucky not to make it to the final. You're absolutely right. They've got a manager that likes to bring in the young players. They play a style of football that only Spain can play. They've got some excellent technical players in midfield. They are a team that I think can go all the way. But you have to remember they're in a tough group. Germany and Japan are both very good teams. They're going to have to start this tournament well. Interception to snuff out the danger. Donetska. Leon Goretzka, Raum, and teammates to play it to. Havertz! And a goal! An early boost for them, the first goal of the game, they're off and running. Well, let's look at this again. And the keeper just lost his bearings there. He was never in the right position. He won't want to see that again. has restarted 1-0 here Ferran Torres 
And with that, the attack fizzles out. Serge Gnabry. Gnabry. Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Havertz. And then Muller's finish is brilliant. He strikes the ball so cleanly and gives the goalkeeper absolutely no time to react. It's a really good goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Carvajal Koke Good use of the ball But can they trouble the defence Had a chance to whip it in here Could reduce the deficit And able to get a body in the way Can they do something positive On the counter attack Giving the ball away Pablo Sarabia. Well, strong play here. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. And a long way out. Well, not enough subtlety about that free kick, I'm afraid. And now, passing it through. Nicely blocked, but he's got to get rid of it. But if truth be told, he made it rather straightforward for the keeper. Well, he knows it. That is a real waste of a great opportunity. Kai Havertz. Oh, managing to beat him. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Sané. Müller. Well, the keeper did his job. Didn't really have to work hard, in all honesty. Torres, Pedri, lovely ball over the top, Sarabia, Carvajal, just the challenge that was required. Raum, definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Müller, and the keeper able to hold on to it. Koke in behind for him to chase the importance of that tackle cannot be overstated Thomas Müller Sané and return to Müller and he stopped them in their tracks And we will have just one additional minute. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, you know, there's something wonderfully old-fashioned about Thomas Müller and his playing style, and he's certainly influential in this game, Stuart. Yeah, what a performance he's putting in here. 
Great movement, lots of energy and a very good finish for his goal. He's been excellent. So off and running again here. Germany dominating the proceedings. A breathtaking first half showing. Will they be able to match that in the second? Müller. And with that, the attack fizzles out. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Sané. Havertz. Well, flinging himself up the ball. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. But he's gone short with it. Kimmy. And making the run to the inside. That's a routine take. Can they hit on the break? All hands on deck. OK. Well, the supporters think it's on. Well, it wasn't a simple save to make. And Koke with the delivery. Has to clear his lines. Koke. Crossing possibilities. And giving the ball away. Koke. Oh, a vital interception. Difficult to stop him. Comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. So making the substitution now. Super tackle, and they've won possession. And a chance to whip it in here. Gnabry. And return to Müller. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Very effective, good, high pressing. Sergio Busquets. Good move in the making from Germany, but timely defending when it mattered. Could be a chance to break here. Carvajal. Just the challenge that was required. Leroy Zane. Zane. And Kai Havertz. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack.
Carvajal. Just 15 minutes remaining. Jordi Alba. Now Busquets. Pedri. Morata. Nicely timed tackle. Keira. Well, by playing keep ball like this, they're keeping the opposition at bay. Chances on. And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it. And Havertz's finish gives the keeper no chance. He hits it with such venom. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Sergio Busquets. Now Jordi Alba. And he keeps going. And that'll be a Spain throw-in. And the substitution will occur now. Jordi Alba. Now Morata. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. And there's the delivery. And you need your defender to take charge. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Able to skip past his man. Good defending in the end, and danger averted for now. Gabby. And all over here. An acceptable outcome from a German point of view. A victory for them. Stuart, sum it up for us. Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today. Well, one thing we often say about Kai Havertz is that he's so very hard to silence, and that was the case in this game. Sum up his contribution for us. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.